Hi everyone, I'm Jackie. Welcome to Healing Moments with Spirit. And if you watched last week's video, I was at a glacier fed creek talking about cutting energy ties and utilizing the areas of the wrist and the ankles in order to do that. Uh, if you have not watched that video, check it out. If you have, I would love feedback on how that worked for you if you tried it. We are back today at another glacier fed creek because Archangel Mediterran has reminded me that is there's another key point to utilize the cold water with. And so this one is um, in a valley where I live. And if you look back here, back in that area right there, that is what they call hanging glaciers. There's about five of them that are nestled in this valley but they melt and then they come down into the valley and eventually come out here into this creek. And eventually out there, it goes to about a quarter mile down to the ocean. And in another couple weeks, this creek is gonna be filled with salmon because <laughs> it's July and they're gonna be spawning and it's going to be a madhouse. <laughs> There will be so many people here fishing and uh, enjoying the salmon run. So for now, though, I am here to talk once again about cutting energy ties. So we're going to talk about the head, okay? When we are talking about cutting ties, why will we need to cut ties? Well, when you're picking up on other people's energy especially people that are tied to you somehow, some way, you can feel a plethora of different emotions and sensations. So let's talk about, you might feel agitated, intolerant, uneasy, nauseous. Um, you might feel tingly. You might feel icky, sticky, stuck, stagnant, heavy. Um, burdened that's just to name a few you know when you're picking up on other people's things when you're especially when you're empaths you're probably more aware of it than others that you actually might even start acting and thinking like these other people well don't be surprised but the thing is, is that doesn't mean that you have to call it yours you don't have to take ownership of it it just means that you need to clear it and help process it so Archangel Metatron is reminding me, bringing me back to these creeks because he's like your head. People that experience a lot of sensations, a lot of um, uh, pain in their head if you get migraines. And this doesn't mean every single person that has headaches and migraines is dealing with energy ties. I can't validate that, but I can validate that it does cause it. And so utilizing cold water could possibly be the technique that can help you tremendously. I've met different people over a span of um, the past few years that do use this technique and it's helped them a lot. So maybe it's worth a try. So again, you're just finding water. Like it's, I'm in Alaska, it's about 50 degrees here today. This water's probably 30. Uh, I don't have a headache, so I'm not going to dunk my head in, sorry. You might have been really excited about that, but not going to happen. Um, but you would just basically submerge your head down into the water. And again, this is a very shallow, um, but if you have a lake nearby that you can swim in, you can just go in and just get your head submerged under. If you don't have a creek or a lake or something that's cold, then use your shower or tub at home. Just utilizing the cold water and then remember its intention. The intention is that you are clearing and cleansing all energetic and etheric ties that are not yours meant for you or meant for your highest good. You are disconnecting and sending them back to source. Okay. And do it with love because when, again, like attracts like. So when you're putting love out there and it's like, look, I realize that this is something that I'm dealing with, but I don't have to be angry about it. Then that love will come back to you. So I hope that this 
technique is something that if you do suffer or deal with head issues, that maybe you'll give it a try. And like I said, I love the feedback to get your um, um, stories about that kind of stuff. So, all right, yeah. I guess that's it for now until Metatron comes with the next one because, you know, there's a lot of techniques that he's been teaching me over the past few years. Lots of them. So don't be surprised if you start seeing a lot of technique videos. All right, you guys. Have a great day. Bye.